my dorky daddies. How y'all doing? Welcome back, my dorks, to another week, another video of Da Vinci Resolve and Final Cut, except for uh, today we're talking Da Vinci Resolve. I don't know why I said Final Cut. Today, we've got a fun one. Actually, this is, this is small, this is nitpicky, but I mean, it's right up my alley. It's the shit I love, which is the new Da Vinci Resolve Beta 4 just dropped. We're excited. Um, again, the, the, the speed at which they put out stuff is truly astronomical over there at Black Magic. They're doing real Black Magic to get it out. And in this new version, we got a couple of improvements to the keyframe page on the edit page or window. I don't, I don't even know what we would call it, the keyframe editor on the edit page, which again, this is a feature I've been watching real closely with these betas because it just seems to keep getting better. And I've made a couple of videos talking about how great it is and well today, we got some more juice. And of course, being the dorks that you are, you're saying, Jake, what happened? So the things that we got in this update, which have me really excited, and we'll talk about that in just a second, are that now we have this button called flat handle mode. There's still a few things I don't love about this, but essentially what it does is when you go to smooth the keyframes, it now essentially keeps a ceiling and floor between each of your keyframes. So let me kind of show you what we've got going on here. So let's go down to our dorky dad, Dr. Jake. We love dorky Dr. Jake. Let's, uh, I'm going to put him over here to the right. We're going to make a transform keyframe. Uh, let's go, I don't know, a couple clicks to the right on our timeline and let's move him over here to the left let's shrink him down a little bit too just for good measure and again over here in the keyframe editor we saw all of our uh, splines starting to move and without let's see we actually need a third keyframe so let's go over another one and let's move him back here so i can show what i'm talking about but what we had before this feature so let's turn it off if i turn it off and select all of my keyframes and go smooth you will see here especially on this landing point i guess we'll call it on the very far left of this animation we're getting this weird behavior where the position x is essentially passing where i set the keyframe so if we go to that keyframe and then go past it just a little bit the the PNG is moving beyond where I wanted it to move, which is fine. It's kind of a look, and depending on what you're going for, it can be great. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, my dorky daddies. In more traditional animation software, this isn't really the behavior we're used to seeing. So let's turn that flat handle mode back on. Let's select all of our keyframes, and let's hit that smoothing button again. And again, what you can see here is exactly what I said. We've got a floor down here, so we're not going to move past where we set the keyframe, but it's still going to be smooth. And then it's going to come back up to this other keyframe. And again, it's not going to move past it. Now, of course, you can animate it to do as such, but we don't want to do that. Um, and then, you know, I like to, again, kind of make this a little bit more exponential. I wish that with flat handle mode turned on, I actually couldn't go below that, but doesn't seem like we're going to get that, which is fine. It's okay. Maybe they could add that. That's the one thing about this feature that I am not in love with. But you can see here that this just looks really nice. It's really good. I really like this improvement in general. Let's turn it off and let me show you what it would have looked like without it right here. Goes... Yeah, it just it kind of is this wonky goes beyond, you know, it just I, again, this is a great quality of life fix. I'm really glad they added this. It's going to make edit, animating on the edit page just that much better. OK, that's the main thing. There's one more quick thing I want to talk about. And this one has me really excited today. It's not all that interesting. But now if I right click, so we've got this keyframe. If I right click on this keyframe, we now get a little pop up that allows you to pick how you want the curve to look. So right here, I did linear. You could have it ease in on just one side. You could have it be smooth. You could have it be on the other side. Again, by default, smoothing it in all places is going to probably look the best for 99% of use cases. So this is kind of redundant. We've already got it up here to where we would select all and do that. The thing that I'm hoping and what I would love to see and kind of what I think we're going to get from this is maybe even more options in the future. So today we really just have kind of a ease in and out, ease out, ease in, linear. And there's a whole world 
of curves and stuff, which again, if you've been on this channel, we've talked about it a lot, but things like exponential easing or cortic or cubic easing, they're just different graphs that look really nice. And again, if we wanted to do exponential here, we would just take this handle and drag it literally as far as possible on both of these to really have the animation be super quick in the middle but a very slow takeoff and a very slow landing, and it just looks awesome. It's one of my favorite looks. I think I would probably just do the exponential on the landing here. But guys, that is it for this video. Again, DaVinci Resolve Beta 4, it's out. There's other stuff we probably need to talk about. Those will be coming in other videos, but this one was my obvious first pick and favorite to talk about. So loving the keyframe editor on the edit page, really coming along Blackmagic. This is beautiful stuff and just it makes it more fun. It makes me want to use your software, which is the whole freaking point. But anyway, guys, that's it. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get back to editing. If you like what we are doing over here on the Dorky Dad channel, hit that like button, consider subscribing. And uh, even more so, if you want to support and become a Dorky Daddy yourself, maybe you're the biggest editing nerd in your town, consider becoming a Dorky Daddy. Uh, we would appreciate it. And you guys make this channel sustainable and awesome and make me want to do it. So thank you for supporting the channel. That is it. Guys, I'm going to get out of here. As always, don't you ever forget it. Stay dorky. Smash that